In today's world, we are now relying more than ever on technologies. Everyone from households to big organizations uses it in their daily lives. We have here the internet to be used as a means of communication, and for sharing of information whether it is insignificant or critical information from companies and organizations. Our lives improve because of these technologies. However, with the rise of technologies, the same goes through with cyber crimes. Their methods and way of attacking are also evolving rapidly. A lot of organizations are being bombarded with cyber attacks which resulted from crucial data being stolen, systems being hacked, and companies losing money because of these cyber warriors constantly attacking them. That is why we need to be secured in the digital world. One of the questions we keep getting frequently from businesses as well as others is why do hackers hack? What do they get from doing damage? Is it just about money? Or ego? Well, there are numerous reasons why hackers hack a website or an app or even servers. And this is nothing new. In the early days of the internet, hackers hacked websites or took down services just to show they could break a system. So, you could say it was more about their ego or showing off or sometimes just to make a point that something can be broken. These days, it's way more complicated and so are the intentions behind such activities. One of the most common reasons for hackers to hack is to steal or leak information. This could be data and information about your customers, your internal employees or even private data specific to your business. These are cases where hackers typically go after big targets in order to get the most attention. A lot of times, hackers also steal information in order to assume your personal identity and then use it for something else like transferring money, taking a loan, etc. Such incidents have increased after internet banking and mobile banking have started to become more popular. With the growth of smartphones and mobile devices, the potential for monetary gain through hacking has also increased. Hackers just love to take something down, and then also leave a statement on the website. But hackers have successfully taken down many services by creating bots that overwhelm a server with traffic, thus, leading to a crash. It is known as a dose or denial of service attack and can put a company's website out of service for a while. These days, there's also DDoS or distributed denial of service attacks which use multiple infected systems to take down a single major system leading to a denial of service. This is what everyone usually fears about. Hackers not only hack businesses and ask for ransom but they also try hacking into regular user accounts and try to take advantage of things like online banking, online retail, etc. where financial transactions are involved. Businesses and people often tend to give it away rather easily because they think they will not be hacked. Some of them also have a reactive nature where they'd only do something once a situation arises. The fact is that hacks happen all the time. They've been happening for years and they've only increased with time. It happens to business and users, all shapes and sizes. Think twice before clicking on links or opening attachments. Protect your passwords. Keep personal information professional and limited. Be careful what you download and always be safe in the cyber world.